Magazine.com. Uh, we're having an excellent time, as usual, at Tech Noel. Uh, we're here with uh, Pini Ginewich, who is the founder of uh, Ice.com. Uh, thank you for joining us. You're very welcome. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, we understand that this is your first event here in, uh, in Montreal. Tell us, why did you choose Tech Noel for your first event? Well, one of my employees, uh, Dave Haber, who does social media, was like raving that this is going to be the tech event of the year. All startups are going to be here. Uh, so, I, I, you know, being a uh, an archaic startup with Ice.com, I figured I'm going to get young again and come to an event like this. So you're here for the networking, not for the music and the alcohol. No, no, no. It doesn't, you know, at my age, you know, I look young, but at my age, those things, you know, I, I want to meet young people and see what's happening in the world of technology and get inspired again to be an entrepreneur. So we can assume you've been having a lot of fun here tonight. I'm having such a great time meeting some amazing smart people, young, enthusiastic about the future of technology. I love it. So can we count you in at the next events here in Montreal for the next spring and summer? I hope. I hope. It all depends if I can get a pass from my... So that, that's a yes from Peter Ginewich. Yes. A yes from Peter Ginewich. I'll, I'll be here, definitely. Great. So uh, tell us a little bit about um, uh, ICE. Well, ICE.com was founded in 1999. We got um, uh, money from venture capitals in the uh, Silicon Valley, and then we went down, we went through the whole bubble, ICE.com, you know, the whole uh, internet bubble, and now uh, we moved back here because it burst. We bought our competitor, Diamond.com, we relaunched yesterday, so it's very exciting. That's why I'm here, it is, you know, just to get feedback and stuff like that. So tell us, uh, for anyone who wants to succeed, as you obviously have, uh, what's one piece of advice you would give anyone? Craziness. Just stick with your convictions. Make sure that you are uh, grounded and always have ROI in mind. All right. So are there, uh, I know I'm putting you on the spot, but are there any type of startups that you heard about here tonight that perhaps you want to keep an eye on? Well, one of them really blew my mind. It's called MindSpring, where Someone's going to tap into the uh, API of uh, Facebook Places, Foursquare, and all these companies, and they're going to ask people if they want to answer questions while they check in. So you're going to check into a restaurant, you're going to pop up saying, I'm willing to answer questions. If you want to go to the restaurant, you're going to ask someone at that restaurant, how's the, how's the uh, goulash? Right? You're going to answer those questions. I don't know what the business model there is, but it seems like people are going to eventually want to pay to get those answers. I think it's so wild. That's a great idea. Oh, well, that sounds really excellent. We're going to have to take a look at that. Uh, so uh, thank you so much for your time, Epiphany. Uh, it's been really a pleasure to, to talk to you tonight. Uh, so uh, this is Tom Hartman for CityNetMagazine.com. We'll be back for more uh, later on tonight.